What do you think of this year's Dublin City Marathon, Mary Walsh? Thank you very much. Topic, Peter. Okay. Well, I think it seems like it was a fantastic event. I know Bernard here ran it, so maybe he'd be more qualified. <laughs> he might do an add-on and tell us his okay. experience of it. By all accounts, the the attendance or the participants, there were over 15,000. So, and consequent to that, the following was superb by all accounts. People had a great time. Because more people were running it, more of their friends were out there cheering them on. And that makes for a fantastic atmosphere. It was, it was quite windy, I heard. The course is a bit new. Some people did PBs, personal best. Some people were disappointed. I know one guy who wa really wanted to do it in under three hours. He did it in three hours and one second. <gasps> Which he would say, but that's three hours. No, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. So now we're just saying, we're, all we're saying to him now is, hang on a second and wait a second now and we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> but by all accounts, a fantastic event. And I have never run the Dublin Mar City Marathon. Maybe I will. I won't. <laughs> I, I seem to think my marathon days are over, but you never know. But yes, I think a fantastic event, and people came, came from all over the country, all over the world to do it, in fact. A lot of, they get a lot of foreign visitors. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic that Maria McCambridge, the Irish runner, almost won it. With all those Kenyans around her who would be running together, they'd be running with each other, they, they would run as a team, and whoever comes first, second, and third, they do. So she really, really, really had to battle. And she made up so much time in the last couple of miles that really, had it been a little bit longer, who knows, she may have been the winner. But fantastic event, and if anybody wants to ever do a marathon, I highly recommend it. Plenty of training, and enjoy the day. Well, well thanks. Well, thanks. Last week, I did the marathon, and it's probably a speech of it, so I won't say too much about it. But it is just, I think everybody, everybody should do it. It is just one of the most wonderful experiences. I took it a bit longer than the three hours. <laughs> <laughs> the things that I didn't expect were the feeling of, first of all, when you're queued with 15,000 people, that the play hour on the Veen, and this is the National Marathon Championship, and you're competing in it. And when you hear our on the bean, and you're competing with the best in the same field, it's just fantastic. The other thing is, if you want to spend three or four or five or almost six hours on a Monday afternoon getting nothing but positive affirmations, it is the most unreal experience. Runners have their number, and then under their number they have their name. So all along the way, people are calling out your name. I remember the first time that I think after after 20 tails and my head started to go down, someone would say, Bernie, Bernie, go on, go on, go on. And that was that was the story the entire way. People are just giving me positive affirmations. I think I'm still on the high from that. No aches or pains, I didn't I didn't push myself too much. But for me, two and a half years, I alluded to this in a speech last year. Two and a half years ago I'd never ran more than hundred meters. And it, the first, you know, they said you take your first step to do it. My first step was to run 100 metres. I tried a kilometre one day. And then, like Forrest Gump, I kept going ever since. And she, uh, at this, at this sister, and her, to do it with her brother, he's on his 37th uh, 
yeah, this was in the countryside of America. But on the other side of it, they, they left Westport to go to Dublin to, to, to do it. And on the way up by French Park, this car came out of nowhere on a crossroads and ran into them. And the only loser really was me because my brother now wrote off my car. And <laughs> so last night brought it back in, in, in an envelope. So I was very thankful. But anyway, they're very lucky. But it's very sad to think that she came all the way and went, went to Hobby Never Lose again and didn't, didn't make it. Then again, it could be all day. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.